you know, all across the board, all religions, yeah, one thing that they have in common is this, is this one thing of essentially treat your brother um, as you would like yourself to be treated, right? Yes. How, how do I do that without... That statement, which you say, goes right across the board of all religion, what is held in common with them, one of the tenets of them, mm. to treat your fellow human being as your own self, hmm? Hmm. actually. It is a very, very good um, attitude to develop, because we are also brought up like that in the Caribbean from children. They teach you all these things, huh? and some of it comes in. Even if not all of it comes in, some of it comes in. But you are not going to be perfect at it. You see? Mm -hmm. You love the whole universe, but that neighbour, uh, mm, you just can't include this one or something, you see? So, yeah. Yeah. what I'm saying is, mm, it's fine, as helpful as a teaching. It is not fulfilled by effort. It's fulfilled by understanding. One who comes to know their own self hmm, cannot help but seeing the same self in everybody. In every body. It's not an attitude. It's not an attitude that you develop. It's not because you're so good. Hmm? It's because you come to see that what is here is the same in every body, functioning in every body. Mm. One in essence, vary in expression. Mm. You see this in such a profound way. It's not you're trying to do, you're trying to love. Within this deep and profound love, there's space to tell someone to push off. You understand? Sometimes you have to fire someone, get out, I don't want to talk to you. But underneath this is love. It's not easy to explain this, mm. because there's tremendous freedom in this understanding. <laughs> Otherwise, you're trying to smile in the sun and want to wring the neck. You see, yeah. it's good at a word level of teaching. It's helpful. Many people aspire to do this. But it's not required to put that first in order to be free. Understand yourself. This is what you will come to understand yourself. Ramana Maharshi, great sage of India, he says, all good qualities manifest spontaneously in the awakened mind. Not that you cultivate. It's already there. You see? So there's two roots. When you identify as a person, then you must aspire and you must practice and you must push. And this is also a path of consciousness. Mm. It's also the way in which consciousness universally is evolving itself to the place, coming back to space. All real evolution is an evolution back to space in terms of consciousness. Not an evolution to more and more knowledge, more and more data. No, it's more and more space, more mm. peace, more spaciousness. You see? So I would put this as most important. Because if you try to love everyone actively, it's gonna, it will, it's good, it's great. But sometimes you, you are sometimes not living in your truth, because you can't allow yourself to feel sometimes disgust. Because some human beings are gonna disgust you, disgust you. you see? Some actions by people is gonna feel you want to throw them over the bridge, mm -hmm. and you're gonna say, "No, I'm not supposed to feel this." Well, you are supposed to feel this. Maybe not carry it out. <laughs> but you will feel these feelings. Mm. You can't pick and choose your feelings. They will come. But somehow with greater understanding, a greater acquaintance, you may say, with your own self, it will become easier. There will be room in you to say, OK, you start to see that you are not fixed into a position of looking, that uh, more and more you find easy affinity with different points of view. You can see, oh, well, I can see things this way. Yeah, I can see how it looks to you like this. And this one says, no, 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 but no, no, no. And you say, actually, I can also see how you see this. Mm -hmm. You will see that uh, it's just a point of view. But you don't have a point of view that you're locked into, because you're like space again. 
And this, in this way, your beingness is universal in its expression. Not by cultivating necessarily. I don't speak against this. But you are here and I'm telling you a direct way, showing you a direct thing to discover this space in you, behind the, the trying to be good part, which is okay for now, it's okay. But go deeper into this place, which is not trying to be good. It's, it's beyond good or bad. It's pure space, pure being. You see? Mm -hmm. Still your actions will manifest very, I would say, mm, in sweet balance somehow. You will not be there monitoring what you do so much. Something is much more fresh in this. Otherwise, you're going to, you're going to get some, uh, some ulcers, which you don't want. It's not nice. Yeah.